Hey guys, what's up? My name is Sean, Ru Sean Rooselt and welcome to my Delphi programming series. So in this video we are going to be learning how to create a combo box dynamically. So when you create a combo box dynamically, you're basically creating it with code and creating it in runtime. You're going to be setting all of the properties and the events of the combo box in runtime as well via code. So let's create a combo box via this button, spawn click event. So let's start by adding a variable for the, for the dynamic button. We'll call it then combo box of type T combo box. And then we'll say then combo box colon equals T combo box. Let's check something. Okay. Dot create. So this create is a constructor. The constructor basically um, makes the object. The object, in, the object in this case is this T combo box. And this constructor needs a parameter, an owner parameter. So the owner is, is um, responsible for destroying the component or the object. So we want the form to be responsible for destroying this combo box. And then you need to set it a parent. The parent will be set to this panel because we want the combo, the combo box to appear on this panel. So we say PNL parent, which is the panel's name. And we note from our WhatsApp group, where's my, okay, ah, okay. And we note from our, from our WhatsApp group sent me this. You can find the WhatsApp group in the, the, in the link in the description. Um, you can join it. Uh, anyway, he sent me this and you can pause the video and read the differences between um, owner and parent. So read this, pause the video if you want to. So anyway, let's continue. Now let's align it to top combo, oops, combo box dot align. Now top, let's give it a height, then combo box dot, oops, a daisy dot, well let's not, Mm, let's first give it a font size dot font dot size can't like 20 let's give it a text then pop combo box dot text and we set that equals to let's say um, choose your your name no 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 choose a name okay Let's, let's actually actually see if combo box doesn't perhaps have a oh, why is it lagging mm, where is it text hint okay so combo box actually has a text hint property so let's use that dot we said the text hint equals to choose a name and Let's actually compile this and run it. So that that combo box is created. Oops, why is it getting like that? Do not know. Hmm, let's see again. Ah, let's just do something here. Okay, let's say then combo box dot top. So giving giving it a top, top property. And we say that, let's say that it equals some large number. Basically, just just just, just um, put the combo box um, near the bottom or really low the bottom, and it will automatically align to the top. So it's yes, but let's just for the sake do it differently. We say PNL parent dot height. Okay, yeah, that fixes that problem, and now we have. The combo box is here, we can't select anything yet, so let's add that. Let's actually give it a margin as well. Um, then combo box dot margins dot, uh, let's give it the bottom margin of let's say hmm, 50. Okay, let's see how that, let's see how that looks. Why is that not working? 
Oops, because you have to align align with margins with margins as well. So you say then combo box dot what combo box dot align with margins. It's a boolean. You just have to make it true. No, it's okay. 50 is a bit too much. Let's let's actually make it. Let's leave it actually zero because the default settings for it is five for every for everything. That actually looks nice. So it's five now. Okay. So just a line of margins, make it through. And now let's add some items to it. So then combo box dot items dot add. And now I'm just going to be adding some random names to it. Foreign Walter Jim Nick Marco Dennis Oops Andrea and let's add Simon Okay now I have some random names added so let's compile and check that out And now you can actually see different names here at each one of them and you can select now let's select Nick and here we can select Sean and Marco as you guys see yeah, that actually works and you can add more if you want also so now let's give it give those combo boxes events so let's go to the public declarations and let's add a procedure uh, then combo box click sender the object okay in the, in the implementation we just say procedure t the form home and we select the procedure which is then comma box and now you want to um, basically connect this procedure to the comma boxes on click event. We do that by just saying then comma box dot on click and say that equals to the um, oops then combo box click. Okay. Uh, let's actually add another let's just quickly add a comma box here. And see what things it has here. Hmm. You can even give it an on an an, an on select event. So let's actually do that. We just move this. But let's first write the then comma box event. Okay. So what I'm going to do here? Let's just simply give it a random color. Okay. Purple. I color after integer then we say randomize by color random okay and then we just select the sender as the combo box dot color and we give it the random color so the combo box is color color will, will change every time you click on it and now let's create an on select event for it procedure then combo box select okay also needs a sender the object we just add it again I want to check something or what other events it has mm, yeah let's just use on select event okay Let's initialize it here or just implement it. Procedure T if I am home dot select. Let's say that equals to the comma box. Then combo box dot on select. Then combo box select. And here we can just display a text that actually is that, that is actually actually selected. So let's say show message. You have 
selected plus center as the combo box dot oops just gonna see if it has a selected book to know dot text let's compile and check that out so if we create some and click on it then the color changes and we say you have you've selected Nadine let's select Sean here you have selected Sean or here Nick you have selected Nick and You have set that marker and the color changes. So the on click um, property or event is called first. Like so this property, this event um, is, is called first because we're actually clicking on a name and then it calls this and changes the color. And then after that, it's, it sees that you have selected something and then calls the on select event and it displays us this message. So this is actually just a basic, basic tutorial on how to create a um combo box dynamically if this video helped you in any way please make sure to leave a like comment subscribe and share and i'll see you in the next video bye